everybody and a warm welcome to my channel Tarot by Isabella. I hope you're all doing fine and I'm very very happy to see you here. Today's video will be a highlight video for the country of Pakistan and uh, this video I will do it with the help of my crystal ball, tarot cards, oracle cards and some dice. But before we begin I must thank you all wonderful viewers for all of your support to this channel uh, for your comments, for your sharing, caring, coffees, everything you do is highly appreciated. Uh, but before we begin, I uh, just uh, must mention uh, another warning for scammers, since this channel has been attacked again. And uh, to all of your viewers, please uh, be aware that there are scammers in sometimes in the comment fields they pretending to be me, they can use my profile photo, uh, asking you to uh, send them something, mail them or contact them or whatever. It is not me. I never contact you first. The only uh, places you can find me, you will find the correct addresses in, down in the description. I do not have a Facebook group. I do not do personal readings since there have been uh, scam attempts with a false Facebook page pretending to be me. It's not me. I don't have any Facebook page. I only have a Telegram chat group and the correct uh, link you will find down in the description. And my correct email address you will also find down in the description. And this is my only YouTube channel. I also have a Rumble channel. and. The link you will also find it down in the description. So please be aware. I do not contact you first. I don't ask you for anything. Uh, and the only places you can find me, you will find it, them down in the description. And please don't send anything to anyone who pretends to be me, even if they have the same profile photos. It's not me. I do not contact you first. The only time I contact you is when you have um, contacted me first through my correct email address and you will find it down in the description uh, and there is some kind of conversation between us but I never ask for money I never ask for anything so that is a warning I unfortunately must say in the beginning of all the videos that is coming well let's continue now to the country of Pakistan uh, before we do this reading, I have uh, printed out some just short information uh, about Pakistan and I want to read it first. Uh, and I have the papers here. So let's see. Um, well, Pakistan is officially the Islamic Republic of Pakistan and it's the five, fifth most populous country in the world. Almost 240 million people lives uh, in Pakistan. Uh, Pakistan is a relatively new country in world history, having received its independence in the partition, partition of India in 1947. Uh, its four bordering countries are India, Afghanistan, Iran and China. Pakistan is the world's first Islamic country to attain nuclear power. India and Pakistan got their independence at midnight, 14 to 15 August 1947. K2, Chagori, is the highest mountain peak in Pakistan and the second highest in the world. Pakistan also have one of the oldest civilizations in history, uh, Mergar. Uh, sorry if I don't pronounce it correct. 
dating back to over 6000 BC, Mergan is now seen as a precursor to the Indus Valley civilization. It is one of the earliest sites with evidence of farming and herding in South Asia. Well, that is according to mainstream archaeology anyway. Uh, Pakistan has the only fertile desert in the world, the Tar Parker Desert, located in Sid province. And the world's seventh largest collection of scientists and engineers is from Pakistan. Islamabad, Pakistan was ranked the second most beautiful uh, ca capital in the world. Pakistan is far the only nation in the world who gets established on the basis of religion. Benazir Bhutto became the first female Prime Minister of Pakistan and of any Muslim nation. Mohenjo Daro is a archaeological site in the province of Sid, Pakistan. It was one of the largest and most advanced cities in the world during its time built around 2500 BC. Uh, Pakistan is also famous for truck art, decorating trucks with complex flower patterns and poetic calligraphy. And what more? Just a little bit more. Pakistani intelligence is considered the best intelligence corps in the world, even better than the CIA. Islamic law became the law of the land in Pakistan after legislation was passed in 1991. And the country is mostly hot, dry desert, temperate in northwest and arctic in the north. And there have been a very popular le leader in Pakistan, Imran Khan. And, and um, amid a constitutional, constitutional crisis, Khan became the first prime minister to be removed from office through a no-confidence motion in April 2022. And in August, he was charged under anti-terror laws after accusing the police and judicial, judiciary of detaining and torturing an AD. Um, and then he was taken out of office and he survived an assassination attempt. Uh, on May 2023, Khan was arrested on corruption charges at the Islamabad High Court by paramilitary troops who smashed their way into the courthouse. And there's been a lot of protests around this. Uh, and uh, thousands of Khan supporters were arrested with military installation being ransacked. And after his release, he blamed the chief of army staff Asim Muni for his arrest. And the army responded by terming nine men as Black Day with Minister of MOPD Ashan terming it as Pakistan 9-11. He was sentenced to a three-year jail term on August 2023 and was subsequently arrested for the second time. So even though Imran Khan was very popular, they, um, there are a lot of theories and that foreign powers are involved to remove uh, Imran Khan. Um, but we'll see what the crystal ball and the tarot cards have to say around Pakistan. And it will be highlights. Um, I don't know in advance what comes up, but um, we're going to see. Anyway, I just need to concentrate for a few moments on my crystal ball. And uh, soon we begin the reading. Just give me a few seconds and we'll start soon. Four highlights Pakistan. Yep. Let's see if we can find any highlights for Pakistan. And the first thing I see, and it's very, very clear, um, there are a lot of hidden information about those ancient 
cultures uh, in Pakistan. And I see very documented information symbolically like big books hidden, hidden away in behind locks uh, so we didn't, people cannot see what is really going on. And there is much, much more to those civilizations than the official story goes. Uh, I also see that someone will open those locks and take out this information and it will be officially shown the real history. Mm -hmm. Um, in the north of Pakistan, see mountain region, um, and I see some roads going up, quite big roads, important roads for uh, communication between different countries, uh, and I see uh, rocks and stones and landslides falling down on those roads, and it could be this autumn winter. And they will be blocked, so a lot of traffic between, important traffic uh, with trucks could be stopped until those roads are cleared again. Some kind of, I would not call it war, but fighting uh, on the border to Afghanistan will happen. And it could be some rival uh, tribes or something that will begin to fight with each other. And, and I see, unfortunately, people killed and it's shooting and yeah. Uh, could be a little bit chaotic during a period of time and I see military being sent to those regions to try to calm down both military on Afghani, Afghan side and Pakistani side. Unfortunately, I also see some kind of attack on a famous mosque in uh, Pakistan. I cannot say in which city, um, but I see quite big mosque, quite beautiful mosque. And I see some, uh, could be a bomb or some explosion in that place. And this will make people very angry since it's a holy place. And um, yeah, it always someone blames, blames someone else, um, but this time is different kind of forces involved to try to make the country unstable. And the former leader, Mr. Khan, uh, I see him <clears throat> in communication with other uh, important leaders in the world who are at his side. Um, and there will be some kind, sorry, <coughs> some kind of plan um, to clean his name and uh, make him return into office. And on the border to India, some region down in, on that border, uh, I don't know exactly what happens, but in that region uh, there will be a lot of refugees from Pakistan to India. 
almost 200,000 uh, for something that happens in that region. I'm not sure what it is. I just, I see it very cloudy, but I see people coming over the border into India and seeking help. And it's around 200,000 people. Yeah. And the Indian government will try to help uh, those refugees. But they will not stay in India forever. It will just be a couple of months or something until that area um, comes down, you can call it, and they can remove to uh, move back to Pakistan. And different connections, strange connections that should not be to the US will come up to the open. And I see those connections being cut off. And there's some kind of funding, uh, some kind of not clean money uh, that will stop uh, coming. In the future, I see Pakistan being like a renovation, yeah, a makeover. Uh, and I see many places being very modernized, uh, new nice buildings, cleaner streets, uh, better education on some place places, even in rural. Uh, areas um, and I see more money flowing into the country and this money will this time be used uh, for the people not for uh, the pockets of high uh, governmental persons and it will be used for helping the people to have better lives Um, I see some kind of earthquake in Pakistan. Also, some northern area. Um, and it will be used dogs. Um, though dogs that can uh, sniff out uh, where people are, you know, laying under the rumble. Uh, yeah, buildings and so on. And those dogs will rescue a lot of people. And after that, somehow the dog will be, these dogs will be treated a little bit like heroes. And the, the way people look at dogs will change. And they will see dogs more like some animal that are beneficial for uh, for people yeah. uh, this I must mention in the future I cannot say exactly when could be a couple of years but this is in the future um, new laws will come out, uh, especially for those couples that want to get married. And it will be some kind of help, governmental help. Uh, could be that when they get married, they get uh, special fund money for that marriage to start a new life, to maybe uh, buy a, a home. Uh, education and so on so more beneficial help for uh, for people who want to start families yeah and I also see some new schools open up uh, mainly for girls and it will be a very very high level education in that schools 
just for making it more, you know, a little bit segregated, but also for uh, the girls to be able to concentrate more on their education. And it will be very high education, doctors, engineers, um, this kind of um, professions that can help to uh, build a better Pakistan. And also the infrastructure special for rural uh, areas will be more um, looked into and more developed okay well this is what i could see in my crystal ball let's continue to the cards First, I need to shuffle my cards a little bit for Pakistan. Any more information for Pakistan? I have to move my tea here. And now some oracle cards. And finally, some dice. Okay. And the cards look like this. Okay. In the tarot cards, we have Queen of Coins, King of Wands, Eight of Coins, The Judgment, Knight of Wands. Then in the Oracle cards, we have uh, Falseness, Engagement, uh, a fool dancing on the clouds with doves, power of joy, and a big high peak mountain. Mm. Um, according to the cards, it looks like women will be encouraged uh, to go out and work more than they have been doing until today. And I see more women in um, governmental jobs. Um, could be judges, could be even police officers and military. So more women will be engaged in um, this kind of jobs. And the government in the future will get a lot of funds uh, for helping young couples, as I say, young people. Mm -hmm. especially when they are trying to engage uh, to be married. 
And this change for Pakistan uh, will come very suddenly, very unexpected. Uh, a lot of people could be opposing this change for women um, working more or uh, being in high positions, getting more in um, more rights to uh, influence the politics. Uh, but everything is like a plan for peace because those changes are held up by white doves, peace doves. Mm. And in the future, the country of Pakistan will be a country filled of joy, the power of joy. Some mysteries around those high mountains or in those valleys uh, between those mount mountains uh, will be revealed. Uh, some of those mountains in uh, the Pakistan region are special mountains. They're not just mountains. They, um, I see they have some very, very ancient and deep secrets uh, hiding in them. And that will, that lid over those secrets will be taken off and it will be uh, for everyone to see. On the dice we have a temple, a magical wand, a factory, seas and our world. Um, there has been a lot of things going on in Pakistan, both good and not good things. I will not go so much into detail. And the world have many times looked a little bit down on Pakistan, on what is happening there. But the whole picture of Pakistan will change a lot in the future. Uh, all, the whole region will calm down and will become very peaceful. New industries, new factories, that is also uh, for the ben benefit of people and the earth and the country will um, pop up in Pakistan. And that will be for everyone to see. And people will see the big change that is coming for the Pakistani people because their world will be filled with joy. Yeah. But we are not there yet. Unfortunately, we live at the moment in times of war and turbulence and turmoil on many places on this planet. Uh, but this will eventually be changed out uh, for new kind of governmental uh, peace, global peace. When the, the people have their power back and can and live their lives in joy. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna take some last cards for Highlights Pakistan. To see if there are any last words to be said about Pakistan. Oops, that much jumped out. And this seven of wands. So there is some kind of warlike situation, uh, some fighting, um, very unpleasant things. Unfortunately, heading for um, different regions in Pakistan. Mm. Hi. Uh, when it gets um, the worst state stage, um, there will be some kind of curfew in Pakistan, especially in big cities, medium cities also, uh, where people can are not allowed to go out on the streets uh, certain after certain hours, yeah, until things calms down.
again and here I'm gonna take one yellow one blue and one red And this confirms a little bit what I said, it will be more money put into uh, in the future into Pakistan uh, for the beneficial bene yeah, benefit of, of the people. We have here, uh, what does it say? It says, unexpected joy, flow of prosperity. We have the tree of life. Here we have a beautiful woman, the death card. Nine of wands, nine of coins, and knight of cups. So the flow of prosperity uh, will be um, very important for Pakistan. And it will really help the people to stand on the... Uh, legs and uh, live better lives and offer better futures for their children and it will calm down a lot of conflict when everyone have enough money to have a good good life and as i said we have the queen of wands and nine of wands and the death card so women will go out more to work but only if they have to uh, sorry if they want to not because they have to so it will be a little bit encouraged uh, for women to seek better educations uh, to go out and work and the salaries in pakistan in the future uh, talking about a couple of years will rise a lot so when you do a, uh, a whole day work, you can really live good for that money. Mm -hmm. And this will keep a lot of young people at home. They will not have to seek themselves out to different countries to find a better way to live. Because they can have a very good life in Pakistan and uh, build a home and family and so on. So yeah, there are big changes coming for the better, but we still are not there yet. Unfortunately, there is some warlike situation coming first and it will be some kind of cleanup. And I see a lot of hidden weapons and explosives in different places. And those weapons and explosives will be found, will be cleaned out and it will not be able to those people who are controlling those things will not be able to use them for attacks against innocent people. Yeah, and there are a lot of countries involved in this, so it's not just something from Pakistan. I see connections, yeah, from to many places around the world. Well, anyway. That was my reading for today for highlights of Pakistan. And uh, if you have liked what you have seen and heard, please don't forget to press like button, share button and subscription button. And to all of you proud and warm-hearted Pakistani people, there are better times waiting for you ahead. Stay strong, uh, stay together, help each other and you will see that your country will develop and blossom to something very beautiful and that you cannot even imagine today. And to all of you viewers, thank you so much for watching and hopefully we're going to see each other soon again. Bye-bye.